Hello friends, this is Shane Alam and today we gonna design Iron Man helmet. So let's start. Go to new part design. Okay. So choose right plane, sketch, normal and here select a construction line. Draw a horizontal construction line. Again choose line and draw two lines. Choose smart dimension. This should be 75. And this should be 55 mm. Now choose circle and draw a circle from this to this point. And here choose mirror entity. Select these all line. Where about this center line? Choose trim and trim this outer extra surface. Okay. Now go to features, revolve base, boss base. And here draw 180 and choose center line this. Okay. Now select this face. This face go to sketch normal and here draw a geometry like this choose a smart dimension this must be 40 this must be 15 and the angle between these two lines 125 choose another line and draw here to here angle between these two line 45 Now choose this two point, select, select merge, twenty-five. Now choose feature. Sorry, go to extrude cut, and here choose. Wall. Here choose right pane, go to reference geometry, plane, and here draw 100. Now choose this plane, go to sketch, normal. Choose here center line, draw a center line with the length of 60, choose another center line here to here, choose line, draw a vertical line. Choose a smart dimension, 15, 30, choose another line and join these two point. Okay. Now select these three lines, choose mirror entity.
about this line. Now go to features. Here select extruded cut. And here select so all. Hide this plane. Now select chamfer. 5 mm. And select this corner. Now choose shell. Here 2 mm. Select this face. This face. This face. This face. And this face. Okay. Now you can see shell has been created here. Now choose this face. Go to sketch. Normal. And here select a line. Draw a line here. And the angle between this two line 45. Select a line. Draw a line and select this point. Select merge. This must be vertical. Now choose these two edges. Choose convert entities. Now go to feature extrude boss. Here select 2M in the reverse direction. OK. Now choose top plane. Mirror. And here select extrude boss. OK. First part is ready. Now choose come some color. I'm gonna choose red color. Okay. And save this part. Now we're gonna design second part of iron helmet with using of first part. So we have already saved this part. So now we're gonna read some features to generate second part. So select here to here these all features and delete them yes to all now you can see this sketch is only appears in this body edit sketch control 8 and here select a line and draw a line draw a geometry like this and trim unnecessary lines we don't need them so let's just delete these all lines and you can see now go to full list define sketch calculate okay you can see sketch is fully defined now simply okay choose features extruded cut here through all okay now here choose save as and here part 2 okay now choose open and open part 1 here we have to copy some sketches for the second part Here we gonna edit this sketch, control D and I'm gonna copy these all sketch, select all line and control C for copy, exit and don't save and here choose, here choose right plane, go to reference geometry, plane Offset of 100 mm. Okay. Now select this plane. Go to sketch. Control 8. Now choose this point. And control V. Choose this line. This point. Coincident. And here choose smart dimensions. 
this point and this line to it should be 60 okay now go to features and air select extruded boss and and conditions up to surface and select this low surface okay now you can see now choose right plane sketch control 8 normal and here do two circles one two choose smart dimensions this should be 186 inner circle and outer circle 330 now here choose line and draw a horizontal line choose this this collinear again choose line draw a horizontal line choose this line and this line relation collinear now choose trim entity and trim outer unnecessary part ok draw a construction line a vertical construction line select ok now go to features exit <coughs> here choose revolve cut line has been choose that's fine ok hide this plane now choose this face sketch control 8 normal and here draw a geometry like this this line should be collinear with this line that's fine delete this unnecessary line delete horizontal now go to features here extruded cut select through all ok now select right plane sketch control 8 normal and here draw two circle 1 and 2 choose smart dimension inner circle 181 die of mm outer 240 and here uh, again choose line and draw a line horizontal line again a horizontal line skip delete this just draw another horizontal line like this ok choose this line this edge collinear this line this edge collinear draw a center line ok choose trim and trim this unnecessary part now go to features and here select revolve cut all thing is ok here draw 90 degree only ok that's fine now choose this face go to sketch control 8 for normal and the diameter of this circle should be 50 and the distance from here to here 28 now go to features extruded cut and here select through all ok now choose shell and select this face this face these two face and this face ok edit this feature and here select 2mm only ok now it's fine now almost our second part is ready save this we have already saved this part as name of part second
now we are going to design third part choose top plane sketch normal and here select a center line okay and here draw a circle and the diameter of 174 mm select line draw a vertical line and a horizontal line the length of this line should be 55 mm here choose mirror entity select all line ok mirror about this center line choose trim trim this all unnecessary line ok here choose fillet 23 mm of fillet choose these two corner ok ok now go to features extrude boss extrude it up to 90 mm ok now select this face sketch control 8 for normal now select line and draw a geometry like this choose smart dimensions length of this should be 30 and the angle between it should be 15 this should be 40 angle between this line and this edge should be 60 and angle between this line and this line should be 138 ok now choose fillet here choose 20 fillet parameter should be 20 and select this ok go to features and here select extruded cut and conditions through all ok Now choose right pane, sketch, control 8, normal and here draw some geometry. Thirty, okay. And here choose features, extrude cut, here choose through all. Ok. Now choose front plane mirror and here choose feature last extrude cut. Ok. Now choose right plane go to reference geometry plane and in the flip direction opposite direction create a plane with the offset of 100 mm. Select this plane sketch control 8 normal and here draw a geometry draw line and draw a center line ok this should be 5 and this line should be of choose this line and this point make a relation make a midpoint ok now again choose a line draw a line and uh, one thirty five ok choose mirror entity select this mirror it about this center line ok now select a line and connect this to point ok now simply go to features
here extruded cut choose divide direction here choose through all ok now simply choose shell here put 2 mm select this face this face and this face go to edit this feature and also select upper face ok hide this plane now choose this face go to sketch control 8 normal and here do two lines like this and two line like this smart dimensions this point at this point should be 15 and this line here to here also should be 15 and here select this line this line this edge and select convert entities go to trim trim this unnecessary lines ok now go to feature extrude boss extrude it up to 10 mm only ok now choose fillet fillet should be of 10 mm and select this edge this edge ok edit this features and delete this clear selection and select this inner edge and this one too ok now choose this plane go to sketch and control 8 for normal now select a center line and draw a center line from here to here And the length of this center line should be 14.5 14.50 again select line draw a line and select this line and just delete this line and draw a line here and the distance of this line should be 40 now choose this point and this point relation coincide now select a line again the angle between this line should be 145 ok and choose mirror mirror about this center line now choose offset and offset of 5 offset should be in opposite direction so control Z ok here choose offset choose this line in upper direction with 5 mm ok now select this line and this line go to convert entities here select trim trim this line this line this line and this line also this line this line and this line this line ok Now go to the features and here select extruded cut and here select offset from surface and select this surface and here select reverse of 1 mm. Ok. Now you can see cut has been made here. Now select this 
face sketch control 8 for normal and here select a corner point rectangle and draw a rectangle here select this point and this point you can select this line and this edge collinear and delete this line select this point and this point coincident select this edge convert entities ok now go to the features and here select extrude cut same as here select offset from surface select this surface in the reverse offset ok now same process select this face sketch control D for control A for normal and here select a corner point rectangle select this line select this edge collinear delete this line this point and this point this edge should be coincide select this edge convert entities ok go to features extruded cut here select offset from surface select this surface in reverse direction 1 mm ok now our third part almost ready now we gonna select some colors so just go to select here to here and choose it to red color I'm gonna choose yellow color okay and this three extrude cut color should be black okay now save this part as the name of part third 